If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Now, today, I'm going to show you guys how to get the Madden 21 beta working again. And by that, I mean you can play play now and franchise modes for all you franchise heads or guys who play offline anyways, or just to get a feel for the game, start learning some stuff and get ahead of the competition. Now, guys, for all you Ultimate Team boys, I recommend you go ahead and you try to get this done as quickly as possible because week one we can leak and everything no one really knows how to play too well yet you get a head start on the beta right now you start learning your ebooks your whatever you guys want to do your playbooks your pats your cards your baltimore whatever you like to run your oakland you learn that nice and early you can probably go on ahead and get a really easy first weekend league and maybe some you know i want to say fire awards but we don't really know what ea especially when it comes to that kind of stuff but i'm excited for this video now shout out to d money over on twitter um so he pretty much leaked this out well he didn't leak it he had it private and then someone else leaked it so then he gave everyone the tips for it but i'm gonna put his, a youtube link down below in the description just to give him credit i'm not sure if he created it or who created it but most predominantly i've seen on twitter has been him so i will link it down below i'm gonna link his new youtube i believe because i'm not entirely sure which one he'd prefer but I'd, i think he prefers new one but anyways guys let me show you how to do this and then once we get done with this i may want to do some packs if i got some coins if not i'm trying to close up the video because i did i did want to see if i could pull a golden ticket still but let's get into this guys make sure to sub comment and like be ready for madden 21 you guys know the deal so pretty much the way this is going to work so if you guys did have the madden 21 beta you had to have had it already i'm pretty sure there's no other way you can get the back on your xbox if you didn't have it to begin with so if you have it in your games you're going to want to go and uninstall it when it comes to games you're going to want to uninstall it now like i said if you didn't have it already I don't think you really do anything for that, but here you go. MMXX, you're going to want to hit pause, which is the start key on your Xbox controller. What is up, Dom? Just got online. Heading on down. Going to want to click uninstall. Now, uninstall all. You guys know how to do all this. That is uninstalled. It has disappeared from the game. It's exactly what you want. Now, you're going to want to go down. You're going to realize that it is gone. Now, if you guys know how Xbox works, you're pretty, pretty sure you guys know where to go to forget games you have installed before. So, go to all own games here. You want to scroll all the way down. I mean, it depends on the games you have. It could have been right there. Now, it is the MGF, as you guys see here. It's no longer set titled MXX, but MGF. Now, this is the one you're going to want to do. Click on that. Now, you're going to want to start installing it. Now, the way this is going to work is pretty funny how this actually ends up working. So, let's go back. Let's go to the queue. It is installing. Go into queue. Now, this is the screen you're going to have to do everything out of. Now, I'm going to turn off my face cam for a second for you guys to see. So, the way this works is kind of weird. It's percentage based. So, pretty much. If you guys know how games work on Xbox, when you are installing a game, it does say ready to start at like an early point. You can usually play like a demo version of it, like the first level, some online games. So this will say ready to start. Now you're going to have to open this at certain percentages to get certain things. So if you'd like to go ahead and play head to head, the head to head mode, go on ahead and do this at 25%. So when this gets to exactly 25%, you're going to be right here. And you have to do it from this screen. Click on the EA logo right here. Click A at the ready to start at 25%. That is for play now. Now, if you'd like to play franchise, which I think would be super fun. Now, guys, this will probably get patched. I don't know how soon, but it's been leaked. So you can only imagine it's, it's imminent before this thing actually ends up getting patched. But if you do want to go ahead and play franchise, you have to let it get all the way to 98%. Now, I mean, my internet's usually pretty fast, so I don't think I'll take too long. I mean, depending on where you live, depending on what router you have and everything. But I mean, mine says an hour, but that should only take like 25 minutes for me, more or less, once I get off the video and everything. But when it gets to 98% exactly at 98%, hit A on ready to start, and that should take you in. And at that point, I guess enough has been installed to where you can play the franchise. Now, I don't know how this exact glitches the beta and how this all worked anyways, but it is funny that it worked. I don't know how long it will work for. So remember, 25% is going to be for play now, which I guess is probably the initial ready to start percentage regardless. And you can probably play, you know, the generic Chiefs vs. Ravens if you want to just play. I don't know if the online feature works there. And then at 98%, you can play franchise. Now, again, I don't know which features beyond there have been added, but I know for sure Ultimate Team is not there, nor is the Yard or Face of the Franchise or any other stuff. So don't expect that. But it's still super, super fun, in my opinion, that you can go ahead and still play this. And that's a huge advantage. That's why they kind of cut the beta out. So you guys, can, they have time to work on it. No one can keep practicing, getting ahead. But you guys are going to get exactly that now. So that is super exciting. Hopefully, you guys take advantage of that. Now, I'm going to go check. I mean, oh, by the way, also. This does take up a lot of storage, so I'd make sure you have some room for it again if you're ready. Like, because I know people will uninstall this and get other games because Xbox storage is just ridiculous, especially if you have Call of Duty. That game takes up way too much storage. But make sure you have enough storage, which is 51.93 gigabytes. So make sure for that. Now, guys, I'll see if I have any coins or packs. And if not, that will be the video. But let's go check. Hopefully, this helps you guys out. 
packs. We did have some coins. Pretty excited here. Hopefully, there's a good enough pack for me to open up here. I do see some Ultimate Legend Fantasy packs. Are we ever going to pull a golden ticket? Probably not. But, you know what they say. You got to try. I mean, I don't know the exact saying, but something about trying. If you what it is, uh, you miss 99% of the shots you don't take. Something along those lines. Now, I do have some coins. I see Ultimate Legend Fantasy packs, so I'm pretty excited about that. We'll try those out. I mean, they haven't been too great to me, honestly. If you watch Skomo's videos, they suck there. If you watch my videos, they suck here. They kind of just suck everywhere, but I'm still going to try. Now, guys, if you didn't see when the video started, I think I wasn't recording yet. I did get the trades accepted. The giveaway was done. I believe his name was Joshua Urex. He did get them. I ended up giving him an ex Eric Dickerson also on top of that just to be nice because I figured, why not? It's just sit in my binder. If you guys like me giving away my best pulls, let me know down below. Sorry, guys. I'm just all choked up here. Let me know down below, and I will go ahead and do that for you. Let's open up some of these packs here real quick. By the way, guys, I did just get in contact with an awesome guy on Twitter that sees hooked me up with. He does, um, he gets you in touch with signed guys who sell signed stuff and stuff. So he did get me in touch with a Saquon Barkley guy, and I did get a Saquon Barkley signed jersey. I'm gonna get it framed right there. We see that other thing, that little plaque of myself right there. Gonna get some more lighting back there. The pink light's been off, which is really throwing things off, but I'm going to get it right there. It's gonna be really, really cool. Really excited. I'm gonna have it framed up, signed, and everything. Cost a bit. Not, not crazy. Not what I thought it would cost. Honestly, a little bit cheaper than I thought. If you guys need any, if you guys need hook up, comment down below. Or hit me up on Twitter. I'll make sure to get you linked up with that guy. Oh, these packs are just always so bad. They're always so bad. You know, I'm gonna open a game changer. Let's just do a change of pace game. Uh, game changer. Have you guys? What have you guys pulled your golden tickets out of? For real, let me know. So at this point, guys, I'm losing hope. A game changer already did better for me than that other thing. Okay, game changer's looking way better, and I keep all these cards. 89 Cordell Patterson, okay. We're sticking game changer. How much do I get for this whole pack of training? 33,000 training per pack. That means that training's less than white. Based on pack odds, that training's less than one coin per. What are the rates here, 94 pull? I'll stick with these, so I get I get to keep all the pulls, and there's multiple spots to hit from. I think the game changer might be actually better. We get a, let's see, let's see, 83 NFL playoffs. We're going to get a legend. Honestly, I think these packs might be better. We'll keep them nice and quick, though, because they are pretty cheap. Probably get through a lot of these. Game Changer Packs, I don't know if you guys played for long enough. Game Changer Packs used to be the best packs in Madden. Like, back in the day, Game Changer like, limited time packs. I mean, they dropped. You, you loaded up that credit card so fast, and that was the pack. Like, that was the pack. Let's see how much training I can rack up doing this. Like, I'm no joke. I don't know if you guys remember. Game Changers were legit. They were, like, I think it was, like, 10... 10 spots instead of five dark to anyone else i don't know it was looking real dark to me anyway back to what i was saying game changers were like 10 slots they were like guaranteed all elite pluses so like you literally got 10 elite plus hits those packs are just an unreal breed of packs i'm not gonna lie everyone loved those game changer packs i used to, i remember i mean i was a lot younger then so i couldn't like just spend money like willy-nilly like freely like i didn't just have it i didn't have a credit card yet or anything so back then it was more like okay I have to call my parents real quick and they probably just tell me no because it's like 100 bucks uh, probably for the whole bundle but if they didn't tell me no that credit card needs to be loaded up because they'd be ltd packs sometimes like you know what's crazy too i don't know if you guys were around for these days i mean you guys are probably older than me but i know some of you guys probably just started madden anyways so some of these they used to be limited time players but like super limited like it'll be friday night this doesn't even happen anymore like friday night 10 o'clock and it'll be like a hero LTD player. It'll be like Jason Witten, 99 overall. He's in packs for like 15 minutes. Go. And they'll drop special game changer packs with him or something. And that was literally all you had. That was all. The only chance you had to get him was right there. Those used to be crazy as well. And you could only get them out of the packs. So those packs, like, you had to go spend money. EA used to not to get a bag and be fun with it. Now they just get a bag. But hopefully we can go back to those ways pretty soon. Guys, this could be my last bit of coins for Madden 20. I mean, I don't see myself binder cleaning that much more. More, I just have too much stuff in there. And I really just don't see myself going through it for coins. And we're down to 72,000. I could probably get some more coins through my binder. I have a lot of quick sells. A lot of quick sells sitting there. So I could probably get through everything and really just try to make it work. But it's tough. It's, a, it's tough at this point to really go through all that. You know what I mean? These pulls started off super hot. They failed me. They, they brought me in. They brought me in just to make me open some packs, and that was it. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you aren't to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. If you haven't already, subscribe down below. Come join the family for Madden 21. Hope to see you guys there. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. 
And hopefully if you guys saw the beta part of this video, hopefully it works for you guys and you guys get to enjoy it all. I'm out. Peace.